there was a contest for the best sounding watch name, this piece would be the winner. Hey man, what's on the wrist today? The Antarctic Spider. But it's not only the watch. Nevada Grändchen revived a vintage piece with a design that stands out like, yeah, well, a gigantic spider on an iceberg. Let's go over the basics. Automatic watch with a case diameter of 38 millimeters, thickness is 11.5 millimeters, length overall 45 and luck with 20. Movement is the Swiss made Soprod P024 with 25 jewels, 38 hours power reserve and a beat rate of 28,800. We have a screw down crown, a sapphire crystal and a water resistance of 200 meters. Price is 650 euros or 726 US dollars. And the watch comes with a big variety of straps and bracelets. So our first two questions are, is this really a tool watch? And second, what is Nevada Grändchen? Let's begin with the brand. Founded 1926 in Switzerland, Nevada Grändchen is one of those watch brands with a glorious past but without the capability to survive a mass production of quartz watches in the 70s. Nevada Grändchen was one of the first manufacturers which produced in the 30s automatic watches. And they laid focus on robustness and water tightness and the result was the Antarctic, introduced in 1950. The watch was worn by the members of the American Navy's Deep Freeze 1 during their expedition to the South Pole from 1955 to 1956. So yes, we have a company specialized in early tool watches and yes, the Antarctic is the explorer with a cooler name. But as you can see on this historic advertising, the regular Antarctic was, well, more regular than this spider. The spider though was also a historic watch. So we have a revived brand and a revived fancy tool watch. And the name refers to the black lines which create here sort of a sector dial. That alone is unusual, but now note form and positions of the indices. I've never seen something like that and it gives me two things to say. First, this look is extremely compelling. The black spider lines in combination with those stalagmites, the wonderful, wonderful color of the loom and the radial sunburst effect on a silver dial. We have an extra portion of vintage flair with the brand name and of course the loop on top of the date. Just nice. Second thing to say, legibility must be terrible. A quick glance at your watch after a shocking moment will tell you nothing. But let's be honest, we don't buy mechanic wristwatches for the sake of efficiency and so I'm happily willing to accept the fact that this watch dial is challenging. And I must salute the bravery of the creators here to produce such a divisive watch. With attention to detail, it's very close to the original. I mean they could have produced this with only 100 meters water resistance in a standard ready to buy case with a Miyota movement with a case diameter of 40 but they didn't. They deliver something very special at a price that is not crazy, that is competitive. And they offer you a wide variety of straps and bracelet options. Look at this. My favorite here is the black strap although normally I never wear black but this is of course only a personal choice. Three different steel bracelets to choose from, rubber, colors, everything you want. And so I'm happy to announce that we can pre-order the thing since this week, I'm speaking here in August 2021, and delivery will take place then in January 2022. And with this perspective, I close this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.